Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Hope you are keeping fit and well out there. You can probably tell from the intro B-roll that we're not running on the beautiful trails of Cornwall in this video. You've actually come up to the bright lights and the big city of London. So we literally jumped in the van after work on Saturday, drove straight up to London and we're going to spend the weekend here visiting my dad and my brother. And believe it or not, we haven't seen them for nearly two years. I wasn't actually going to film a video this weekend, but we got into London and I saw lots of people walking around with running t-shirts on and it's actually the day of the London Landmarks half marathon. What are the odds of that? So what we thought we'd do in this video is take you on Run For Adventures London Landmarks tour. We're also going to answer a few questions that have been asked recently and we're going to give you an update what's going on behind the scenes of Run For Adventure and what's coming up on the channel. So I suppose the best thing we can do is let's get running around the streets of London. We have run across into the stunning Hyde Park just to get away from a bit of the hustle and bustle and the noise of the city. The first thing we have to talk about is a new up and coming series on the channel. We're going to be doing about five or six episodes in this new series and the new series is called Operation Transvolcania. If you're new to the channel then you might not know that we're going out to Transvolcania at the end of October. It's an amazing race on the island of La Palma in the Gran Canaries. It's a race that I've taken on before and if I'm honest I didn't do a particularly good job of it and my body kind of fell to pieces and I made lots of schoolboy fundamental errors. Error number one, I forgot my salt tablets. Two, I was just totally underprepared. I hadn't done any decent training or the right training. Three, I went off way too quick. Four, I didn't drink enough. And five, I didn't eat enough either. And basically my body just unraveled and it's the worst bout of cramp I've ever, ever had in my life while racing. So the race is basically 47 miles in length and it has 4,400 meters of elevation. It's basically on a big volcano and you start at sea level and you run all the way up to the top point, which is about 2,400 meters. And then you run the whole way around the crater of that volcano. And then you've got a long 20 kilometer steep, aggressive and technical descent all the way to the finish. So the plan is to, like I say, do five or six episodes charting our training, our race prep, go into the race plan in a bit more detail, the kit I'm going to be using, the nutritional plan, and we're hopefully going to have us traveling out to the race and then obviously the last video in the series is going to be the race day video. I really can't wait to do the race again. It is a beautiful race in a stunning location. The support is incredible. But even better this time, Liga is coming out to do the full distance ultra marathon as well. She ran the half marathon last time, did an incredible job and she is going to crush that full distance ultra this time. So that is a few details about that new series that's going to be coming up on the channel. But like we said, we're going to give you a quick whistle stop tour of London. So let the tour commence. Queen Elizabeth Gate. The Dorchester Hotel.
good to be back in the city of London. Don't get me wrong, I love where I live and where I run, but it's always awesome to come somewhere so different, especially running around a big city. I don't know whether you noticed, but I am wearing a pair of Ron Hill sunglasses. And in a lot of the videos recently, I've been wearing lots of different sunglasses. The reason being is we're gonna be doing a running sunglasses review on the channel very soon. So I've been testing out lots of different brands from sort of budget brands starting at around 10, 11 pounds, all the way up to sort of expensive Oakleys at 130 pounds. We've given them all a really thorough testing and that review will be on the channel very, very soon. And you might be surprised at the outcome. Anyway, we better get running again. I can't believe we've done seven miles already. The miles seem to go so quick when you're running around a city, taking in all the views and looking at all the landmarks. Probably gonna have done about half marathon in distance by the time we get back, which is pretty good considering it was the London landmarks half marathon today. So perfect in distance. We have made it back into the stunning Hyde Park after that quick tour of the sights of London. Really hope you enjoyed the tour, guys. Got to show you some of the sights, Buckingham Palace, the London Eye, the Thames. Uh, amazing to be back in the city, running around. I love running in the city. I think it's because where I live, it's beautiful, it's coastal, coast path, lots of trail running. But again, I don't get to do this very often. So it's been a really great experience. We've also managed to get some great mileage in today. So a nice Sunday run. We're going to have probably done, I don't know, 12 and a half, 13 miles by the time we get back. But it really has been awesome to be out here, especially now the sun's come out and we've got blue sky. So we've got lots of exciting content planned on the channel coming up over the next few weeks. The kind folk from Scott Running have sent us down a pair of their new Speed Carbon RC to test and review. It is a super bright running shoe. And to be honest, just looking at the shoe makes me feel fast. Can't wait to get it on my feet, get it laced up and get it out and take it on its first run to get those first impressions. And that video will be up on the channel really, really soon. And that leads me into a question that's being asked quite a lot. What happened to the vapor flies? The Meta Speed Sky, the Carbon X, why haven't we seen any more content? If I'm brutally honest, I just haven't got the mileage in the shoes yet. Uh, we are so busy at the channel with products coming in, reviewing other products and lots of other things going on. I just haven't had the time to get the mileage in the shoes. We've obviously done the first impressions video on all them shoes, but we haven't done a full in-depth review, but I've just started to get the mileage in them now. So that's all gonna be happening really soon on the channel. But like I said, guys, we got lots coming up on the channel, lots of really great, exciting content, product reviews, shoe reviews, that new series coming up very soon as well. Um, so some great content heading your way. Don't forget you can follow us on our other social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Facebook or Strava. And like I said in the previous video, go and check out some of the new merch in the merchandise store at runforadventure.uk. But as always, guys, it's been great to have you along. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and share away and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll be back here very soon at Run For Adventure. And as always, stay safe and keep on running.